Hey guys, I'm your host, Theater41, and I have a special announcement. Uh, recently, I've created a special The Agent41 Twitter page, where I will tweet all about my upcoming projects, upcoming videos, and just general announcements of how I'm doing things on my channel. Um, there's a link to the Twitter page on my main channel, but I will also include a link in the description of this Spyro video. Uh, so come on, check... Er, you know, click on the link, check out the page, maybe even follow me. Eh, hint, hint. <laughs> Seal. The Agent 41's official Twitter page is now up. And now, I guess back, or onto your show. Hey guys, I'm your host, The Agent 41, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Uh, in the last episode, we did Scorch, and now we're going to do Fracture Hills. Oh, I do not care for this level, not one bit. So. I don't think I've ever met anyone who, act who like, actively, uh, likes this level. Oh, that's not good. Raw, raw, raw. Silly Earth Shaper, why you do this? Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. Hm. Well, hello there. Hello ma there, Mr. Dragon. Like totally. Oh my god. Oh well, the backpipe music, at least it's completely harmless. Well, that's, you know, perfectly fine and everything. Oh my god, it could destroy a mountain. Thank you for releasing me. So, uh, as I was saying, I don't think anyone I've ever met likes this level. These bushes are fine. There are bush enemies in this level that will come to life and eat you. Sort of like the plants in Misty Bog. If anyone remembers that level from my Spyro LP. And see those trees with the beehives? They shoot bees at you. Oh god. Yeah, those are the bushes that eat you. You can tell the bushes, or you can tell the trees apart by uh, the ones that attack you have beehives and the ones that don't have beehives are just trees. But the bushes are really just indistinguishable from other bushes. So those are the ones I have to be careful of. No, I meant to say those are the ones you have to murder. Ow. This is a terrible, terrible, god-awful level. And I don't know anyone who disagrees with that statement. If you like, if you like Fracture Hills, then you're a communist. You're a commie. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's some socialist people who enjoy some Fracture Hills, except I've never met any, so. Uh, these Earth Shapers are annoying to deal with. You have to charge them into the lava. Basically, what you need to do is glide towards them and then charge them from, like, mid-air. If you try to charge them from the ground, then they'll hit you with their pickaxes. Uh, if I recall, the Earth Shapers reappear in the next level. Although they look slightly different, and they're defeated differently. And they also, uh, reappear in... Uh, Spyro 5, A Hero's Tale. And I know there were some games before Enter the Dragonfly, which was Spyro 4. But I'm going by console games, so like, Shadow Legacy and, uh, Season of Ice. I'm not counting those as, like, sequels, because they're handheld games. In terms of console games, a hero's tale is Spyro 
five and they do reappear there except they look differently and they're referred to just as rock monsters but they're earth shapers they're big rock monsters that you have to charge repeatedly until they fall into lava they're the same enemy because yeah uh so we already got half of the satyrs but the story mode of this level is actually the sh like the story mission of this level is actually the shortest part. The mini games are where this level becomes really lengthy. I'm sure this level is going to take like 25 minutes or something, I'm sure. Okay, two more satyrs left. I'm getting tired of this bagpipe music already. It's great to I don't know why I just burned that bush, because... Uh, it's not evil. I just feel the need to burn all the bushes. Maybe I'm trying to lure Moses over. And he, he, you know, he has to talk to the burning bushes. Which are really God in disguise. I thought that was a ledge there. I, I was afraid I was going to fall down. And there's nothing back here. Okay, just making sure. What's up here? Oh my. Um... No, let's go over here, because that is a supercharged ramp, I believe. I think I'm correct in saying that. Yes, uh, spoilers, the power up for this level is the supercharge. Ow. The only real purpose the supercharge serves in this level is... Uh... To get a gym case, and it's really annoying to get. Now you see what uh, the death animation for fire is. The enemies are still there. Because I killed them after I got the checkpoint. And I still have to get this guy again. Can I skip this, or... Can I go back and get Zoe? Is she still here? No, she is not. Crap. Well, I need a new checkpoint then. Ow. Jerk. It's great. So, let's redo this. Oh, also, you need the super charge to get an uh, orb. My bad. There's a fawn trapped in that door over there. Uh, and you need the super charge to break open the door. So let's not be stupid with this guy like last time. Uh... We'll be stupid with that guy, that's- that's fine. Let's kill you. Okay, good. Uh, the gym case is over here, and you need a supercharge to get that. That's one of the harder parts of this level. It- that is gonna take multiple tries. Ow. Jerk. Here's the last satyr. Now that you have so now we could leave the level if we wanted. We can go get the talisman. Part of me feels like just 
doing the first minigame this level. Actually, no. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I think you need to glide up here to get the talisman. I don't even know anymore. Anything over here? No. Okay. Just making sure. I wish to be sure. I wish to be sure, man. Yeah. Because she sells seashells down by the seashore. Why do these fawns look different from Alora? It's so weird. What are they, some kind of goat? <laughs> I quoted a line earlier in the game. That makes me funny. Laugh at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are two mini games in this level. We can only do one of them now because we need the supercharge. Now you're probably wondering, hey, there's no lava here to push these earth shapers into. It's part of the supercharge ramp. Well, uh, we can't actually kill the earth shapers until we come back for the second mini game. Let's get all the gems. Uh, just so we have them. Any over here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. There's some over there. Ooh. Lots of stuff back here. I've been experimenting. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you something. He's trying to use that potion to free... Uh, Hunter. Hunter's over here. And... The alchemist... Okay, we'll just... The alchemist is going to go on this long, like, winding path past all these earth shapers when he could just go next door and save him some trouble and only go past one earth shaper. Where do you? Maybe if there's a giant wall between the buildings, and that would be one thing. But he goes on this long, like, winding path, and it's just pointless. He's just stupid. No! He likes to fake you out, too, for some... For God knows what reason. He likes to, like, start walking one way and then just randomly turn another. Because he's stupid and dumb and stupid. And he should be hung at the gallows. Thankfully, he goes the same route every time. So, where are you going now, you silly goose? Or whatever you are, I don't know. Mm, no! Jerk. Fuzz bucket nuggets. Okay, let's try that again. And you have to come back here once you learn the head bash, horn bash thingy. And do a mini game with Hunter with these with these Earth Shapers right here. I just said these Earth Shapers, Earth you, these Earth Shapers. They're, they're so annoying. They're they're just so obnoxious, and it's just like, oh my god. But he really does like to fake you out a lot. You were, like, walking towards the archway. What the heck? You were, like, walking far away from that guy. And you just, like, turn right into him. I'm just gonna get myself killed. Just so I can respawn with full health. Okay, there we go. Sure, why not? Take 523. Take 24. 
You know what's better than take 24? Take 25. <laughs> okay. What is the alchemist anyway? He's like some weird like goat bird thing. So get rid of you. Oh, you jerk! Gosh darn it. Finally, God, you are a moron. Just walk next door and stop making everything so needlessly complicated. Come back and. Okay, we need some more gems. And we uh, can't do the second mini game, like I said, because we need the horn bash. So we'll have to come back here after world uh, three. No, at the beginning of world three. And whoa, hello, Mr. Jim, sir. How did I miss you? Well, <laughs> I apologize. Where does this go? Door. Pretty sure I've already run down this ramp before. Yes, I have. I'm going to cheat and go over here. There is a ramp, and this goes to another door. Okay. We have established the abundance, the overabundance of doors. That's another door. Good. This is, uh... This place is populated solely by doors, apparently. Doors and... Some kinds of goats. Can I get back over to the end of the level from here? Can I glide over here, please? No, I cannot. Okay. Let's use the whirlwind. Whirlwind. Let's use the whirlwind. We're gonna use the whirlwind. So. Ah. Uh, I don't like this level, it's so long. And this part is really difficult. Um, forgot what the super, okay, the supercharger is down here. I was going to say I forgot where it was, but. Come on, okay, let's do this. Oh, you silly goose dragon. Why you do this? Spiro, please. I wonder what my name would be in like Dolan speak. What do you call like what would my name be in Dolan speak? Agent 40 win or 41 one being like spelled W U N Ag Agent Agit like 31, 30 win or something. I don't know. I do not speak Dolan speak. Audience, please, please, why you do this? I wonder if there's like a Dolan Spyro meme. It should be called Spiro. Spiro. Why you do this? Why you burn my tail? Hunter, please. Go back to being a cheetah. And fly off a cliff, because that's what you do best. I get the feeling this is gonna take up like half the video, which is me doing this gem case thing. This is my fourth attempt, I think. Let's see how many t tries it takes me to do it. This is number four. Okay, number f attempt number five. Uh, I don't like this. 
And this is just for one mission and one gem case. So really, you have to do this, like, supercharge thing twice. There we go. And we got a, a second orb of this level. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. 39. That means 21 left, I believe. And now we get to do this again. So let's start over the count. Can we skip? How did that happen? What the heck? Where did that come from? Is there an easy way to get up there? Or do I have to go up the whirlwind? The whirlwind and go all the way back. Can I glide over here? Yes, I can. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. We will try again. Yeah. So, can I jump down on this grass thing and then over here? I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. Well, like, how do they want me to do it? I get this idea of how they want me to do it, but it's not a very smart way. I was going to see if I could turn around and like jump up there, but I cannot. That's too high of a jump. Yeah, that won't work. So. This gym case is really annoying to get. And it's this, like, long and winding road up here that's the hardest part. It's trying not to fall off. And I could fly right into the lava. That is... That was just perfect. And let's get some roast ham and bacon because it is yummy in my tummy. Um... 25. There better be 25 gems in there. We sorely... Sore... Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, that probably wasn't going to work in the first place. How do they want you to do this? Is there a specific, like, route they want you to take? Other than the main one, like with the ramp and stuff? Because obviously there's a route they want you to take, and I, that was my fault. I just ran into the wall like a silly goose man thing. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Um... <laughs> Gonna get some bacon because it's yummy in my tummy. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, I could just leave the level and come back and get the gym case. When I come back to do the second mini game, but I want to get everything I can here the first time. Um, I think I know what it wants me to do, but I don't know. Maybe. I think it wants me to go up this ramp, jump off, and that didn't work, okay. But I get the feeling that's what they want me to do because this purple ramp obviously signifies something about the supercharge. And why else would they have it there? I mean, they have, you know, the satyr on it, but that's about it. So I can't just jump up that way. That would be taking the easy way out. And they want to make it challenging. But I don't like challenge. I want everything to be easy as crap. Oh, 
Oh, look how far I went with that, like, after I fell off the ramp. That was kind of cool. But it did not solve the problem. No, it did not. No. So here's what we're gonna do, mates. We're gonna get the supercharged ramp. We're gonna jump off this ramp that's not supercharged. And do some stuff on the purple parkway. Now jump off. Get the gym case. Or stop supercharging, whatever. That's fine, too. Oh, I'm Australian. Oh, I'm Hugh Jackman. So, here we go, mates. This is really annoying. Not talking about this challenge, not this accent. I love the Australian accent. Jump off. That was fail. Crocky. That was awful. So here we go past the earth shapers. Jump. Jump. Here we go up the ramp and I just messed that up. Big time. Or not, whatever. Oh, I can save it. Cause that's just what I do. That's not a ramp, mate. This is a ramp. Crikey! Crikey! Oh, that was crap. That was crikey crap. Crap key, if you will. Or crap. Whatever. I don't care. So here we go again. Uh, can you guys see why I don't like this level? If you can't, then you are blind, and if you are blind, why are you watching Let's Play videos? You are a silly man or woman thing. Or, I, I won't assume what your gender is, maybe you're a hermaphrodite. Maybe you're a, a she-male, a he-male, whatever. He-male, I have the power! Masters of the universe. Anywho, please let me, okay, it's not what I wanted. I kind of want to cry right now because of how obnoxious this level is, but I'm not going to, I'm going to be strong for you guys. I'm going to be strong for you guys. Should I get that bacon back there? I will get the bacon because it is yummy in my tummy and that's the third time I've said that little rhyme. Because I like to rhyme all the time. While sucking on a lime. Oh my god! <laughs> Crocky! Stop hitting the wall! God! You were just awful today, Spyro. That's that's some bad stuff right there. Well, I know what it wants me to do now. I think. Hopefully, if I can replicate that, except for the last second of it. Here we go. Come on. Ripper. Beauty bottle bonza. I got one. I'm quoting Tyler Tasmanian Tiger right there, guys. We got all the gems. We just need one more orb, but we can't do that until we got the horn bash. This is the wrong ramp. So here we go. We're gonna leave the level. I'm done with this crappy place. Crikey, this was crappy. I'm gonna leave the freaking level now. And I'm done with this accent. I, it kind of hurts. This is good. <laughs> that was funny, yeah. Okay, we got 400 more gems. That is 3300. Yeah. 3300 dollars. When you only need 500 dollars. So, uh, we'll go to the next level. Next video, obviously. So, I am your host, the Agent 41. 
I am signing out. See you next time. Und goodbye. Yeah, I will see you next time. I'm signing out.